Wow, I love this dress. I think I need to get it today as well. Dad! 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 And what is your problem, young lady? How dare you scream my name like that? Huh? Or don't you know how to politely call for me? Dad, please, please. I want to go out today. I need to go and get some clothes for myself. I mean, my clothes are getting old. I need to change my wardrobe. And I want to go out with the car and the driver. Young lady, I can see you are that sick. Or you have finally lost your memory. Hmm? I told you I will be going to an adoption center today. Hmm? To adopt that young lady that just lost her family in a ghastly accident. Huh? Why don't you just follow me? Follow you? Never! I don't even want to, to see her in this house. Dad, I can't buy to that idea. I don't want to see her in this house. Talk more of coming with you to, to carry her. Or what? I Please, see. I'm not coming. Count me out. Unbelievable. Eve, I can't believe you are the one saying this. Eh? Why can't you just show compassion on the people that are not as privileged as you are? I just told you that this young lady lost her family, her parents, her entire family in a car accident. And you are here telling me you don't want to see her here. Neither. What if it happens that you are the one? It can't be me, Dad. It can't be me. It's not my portion, okay? Wow. Dad, please, I still need some money to go for shopping. I've told you before. Ah. I don't know how you want me to say it. I can't believe it's my daughter saying this. Dad, please, please. I don't know what you believe. What I know that I just need some money to go shopping. Please, Dad. I just need the money. Look, young lady, for your information. There's no money for you today. And I'm not going to give you a dime. And right away, I'm going out there to go and pick that young lady. Dad, I'm going out today and I don't want to come back and see that girl in this house. Please don't bring any stranger to the house. Please, Dad. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. You are not the father of the house. Let's see how it goes. They're coming. Hey, you're highly welcome, my dear. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, okay. Sir. Just feel at home, okay? Whatever you need, don't even hesitate to tell me. Dad. All right, hey, my dear. Welcome, Dad. Thank you. How are you? Fine, Dad. Now you're back. Can I get the khaki now? You know, for the shopping I told you about. If. See how rude you are. Hmm? That what do you mean? Give me the car key. You don't even acknowledge that we have somebody in our midst. This is Zion. Okay? Maybe. Welcome. So Dad, can you give me the car key now? Sorry, Eve. For the disappointment. Dad, what do you mean? Um anyway, um from today upwards, uh Zion will be sharing your room with you. You know, the third room, there's no chance over there. Okay? What? Dad, can you listen to yourself? No way. It can never happen. It's not possible. How can I share a room with someone? Talk about all this beauty smelling. Dirty rat. I don't know. I don't even know where you picked that from. If? Dad. Watch your so, song. No problem, sir. No problem. I can actually sleep on the couch. Preta! You know where you belong. That's not possible. That is possible. It's never possible if. It's fine, sir. I can actually sleep on the couch. It's not a problem. Yeah, she does not have a problem with that. So she can sleep on the couch. Thank you. So that please, can I get the car key now? If, like I said earlier, I'm sorry for the disappointment. Okay? 
My dear, please make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. Dad! When your mother gave birth to you, you became big lady. Your father became big man. Forgotten that you was once like that. My dear, have your seat. Have your seat. Make yourself comfortable. Okay? Thank you, sir. I will be right back, okay? All right. Just be happy, okay? Wow. Oh. <laughs> what was this? Oh. Ah. <laughs> hey. Okay, I think this is interesting. Uh, okay. If you're still awake, yes, Dad. What? Zion. Mm. Zion. Uh. Shut up. What is this? That's if... what's the problem? What do you mean? What's the problem? What's that about to sleep in the ground? What did you get to your room? That I told you I don't want to be sharing my room with that. God, stand up, stand up, stand up, my dear, stand up. Sorry, please. Go inside. Dad, why are you taking out to? Why are you taking out to? My dear, just go straight to the the the, 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 the first room at, at, by your left. Okay, just enter there. Dad, don't be out taking out to my room. Come and leave my room. Come and leave my room. Come and leave my room. Dad, 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 come and leave my room. Hey, imagine. See how rude this uh, this girl is. Wait, if if where is she? Was it the one that prepared the food? Oh, Ungrateful soul. Don't <laughs> worry. Thank you so much for the food. If, if, that, please, please, we we'll just finished eating. I beg. Okay? Now, clear the dishes. Uh, no, clear the table. I beg. <laughs> what? Dad, how are you telling me to clear the table? Before this so called, what's her name? Zion or something? That, as far as I'm concerned, she should automatically become a maid. What's she here for? To enjoy? To do what? If... Will you keep quiet? What's wrong with you, for Christ's for Christ sake? Eh? You just finish eating. I said you clear the table. That is not possible. I cannot do that. Sir, it's fine. Sir. Okay. Wait, sir. you know what to do, right? Yeah. If you remember, she's your elder sister. She's not my sister, Dad. I don't know where you brought her from, but she's not my sister. She's a maid. That's what she's here to do. If let me tell you something. Remember, tomorrow is pregnant. Okay? Mind how you treat people. Because you don't know tomorrow. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the one I give birth to you. Till tomorrow now. Till tomorrow. And Dad, remember I'm not still gone for my shopping. I don't know why you're restricting me from going out. Why? Please, I want to go for shopping. I still want to go for shopping, Dad. And I mean, my clothes are getting old. I need to change my wardrobe for crying out loud. That's and I need money for it. I see. Uh, that's by the way. Um, tomorrow, we'll be going to Zion's late parents' house you know, to, take, to pick up her remaining clothes. <laughs> okay? Relax. Don't call them clothes. Because she's not looking like who have clothes to pick up. Close are you talking about? Really? No problem. We'll see to that. And remember, tomorrow you're going with us. Go for bitch. Going with you to where? You can't take me to where. 
that please please just leave me alone your talk is becoming annoying then tomorrow we will know if you are the father of this house or i'm the father of this house that we will know because i can never come with you guys we'll see to that <laughs> Anyway, my dear, don't mind here, okay? No problem. Alright? Yes. Tomorrow, yes. Mm -hmm. we'll go back and pick on your property, alright? Yes. Just feel at home and feel alive. Yes. Whatever you want, don't hesitate to let me know. Yes. Thanks, You're welcome. Yeah. So this is my house. It's ready. Wow. Okay. There's no problem about that. Um, you know what? Come on. Do we can pack up, okay? Yes, sir. Let me go and open the curtain. I'm coming back. All right. Sir. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. And that I'm coming, alright? All right, Dad. Can you have a seat? If... Seat? Yeah, you can sit here while I pack. Hmm. You know, your house is very small. I can't even believe you live here with your late parents. How did you even manage it? You live here happy, you know. Hmm. My bathroom is bigger than your entire house. Uh, not everyone is rich or has the privilege that you have. You know, some of us manage what we have and make ourselves happy. What happiness are you talking about? What could possibly bring happiness if not money, clothes, shoes and bags? And what, by the way, what are you packing? Don't tell me this is what I followed you to come and pack. Rack? I can't even use this as rack in my house. Ah, you know, if you just, don't just have take money, a, just take a look at. Is this what you put on? We don't have money if we everywhere as just well. cut out. Ah, please do fast. Let me leave this place. It stinks. Ah. Well, as I was saying, we don't have money. Neither are we poor as you thought we don't even stay in a comfortable place as we wish to but we are not also eating as we want to just like you are but we have enough love to feel our stomach with. love we are always together with my family we tell stories we laugh together that's what family is all about, you know. So tell me, what do you really understand by family? I mean, how do you feel so comfortable knowing fully well that you don't have enough food to eat? You don't have clothes to wear? How do you feel happy? As I said earlier, most of us manage the little we have to keep us happy and make ourselves happy. You know, I would give up anything. I would give up the luxury life just to get that feeling of a family back because I love my family. Wow. I, I would advise you let go of what you think money can achieve. I make too good use of this opportunity you have with your dad. <laughs> because it may be too late. Life can take him away from you in just a heartbeat. Just like it did to me. Don't regret it when it's too late. Thank you so much. You know, I've never had someone to advise me this way. Or talk to me the way you do. Oh. You're such a brilliant girl. Ah, you know. The way my parents trained me, in fact, I just feel like if I don't have enough money or if they don't give me what I want, I'll be so mad at them. 
I'll just be so mad at them, especially my dad. If he doesn't give me what I want, I'll be so mad at him. In fact, the house will not be at peace. Because I felt like love, money is love is all about money, you know, yeah. providing what I want and That's all the rest of it. Wrong. That's where you get it from. So I'm happy that you finally turn a new leaf and I believe you are going to make a very good use of this moment with your dad. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so Papa. sorry for what I'm okay. sorry. The way yeah, I treat you. I'm so sorry for the way I treated you. Just like I just want you to be my big sis. I love you so I'm much. Honored. I love you too. All right, let's, let's pack so we can go. Okay. Let me put this. Dad, you are here. Okay, is that your night true? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. no, let's go, let's go. We don't have time anymore. We don't have time. <coughs> Come on. Okay. Let's go. Eve. Yes, Dad. Okay. Yes. Eve. Yes, Dad. Yeah. Are I surprised? I thought of what? All right. We are welcome. We are welcome once again, Zion. Oh my goodness. You're welcome, my dear, once again. Daddy. Yes, my darling daughter. Dad, um, I want to apologize for the past years. How I've been so rude and how ungrateful I've been towards you. Dad, I want to say that I'm very sorry. You know, you, you. You do everything I want. You give me everything I want. And all I do is to pay you back with rudeness and complaints. Dad, I'm so sorry. And I, I will always listen to my big sis. And from today, she will not be sleeping at the couch again. Really? She will share my room with me, Dad. Thank you so much. Wow. Is that my sweet daughter? I've heard you. Thank you. And I've forgiven you. Thank you. Okay? Is that I've always known that uh, I always think that you don't know what you're doing. Because yeah, I know you always believe that money is everything. Yeah. But money is not. I used to believe that money is everything. Money is what to give and to prove you love me. <laughs> It is not I don't need the excess of family until my big sis here told me everything. Wow. She's not your big sis, right? Sure, Dad. Hmm. She's my sister. My only sister. This is called celebration. Zion. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, my daughter. Okay? Because yes, of this. Hmm? Yes, Dad. Wow. First thing tomorrow, we're going for a shopping. Oh! Finally! Hmm? All right. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, that's my daughter. Okay. Um. Right now, mm. my house is no longer there. Take care of your junior sister. Why do you take care of your sister? Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Thank you, Dad. Then tomorrow morning, you get ready. We go for shopping. Yo. Right. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow.